everybody, and welcome back to Hella V. I am once again your host, Joe, and uh, maybe this time I'll actually do something in an episode of this. I just realized last episode I did absolutely nothing. And that's no good. Well, absolutely nothing. I demolished some guardians. But, frankly, I probably could have done... I didn't even fight a boss. I didn't even fight a boss. For shame. So here we are in the Alchemy Laboratory. Um, this room is full of these flies that are invisible. Half the time, at least. Whatever. I don't need to kill all the... See? Oh my god. That's the problem with this particular area of the reverse castle. Is it's chock full of invisible enemies. And, uh... You know, I... I it's it's not exactly the most fun to just be walking along and then oh, by the way there's an invisible fly here. Congrats on walking into it. Okay. We'll just hold the shield in to walk through this fire. Uh, I believe this is another room of invisible guys. Save point. Okay. I'm like, I know there's a boss room on the left somewhere. I don't remember exactly where it is, because I know my way around, but I've never bothered to memorize the castle. Because, you know, I gotta have room in my head for other useless facts. I say as I will now predict that this torch here has sub weapon? Bird poop? No? Nothing. Oh my god, I just made a damn fool of myself. Hey, resist fire. No. this way. It's not the way I would have preferred to do it, because this is going to eat a lot of my magic. Whatever. Oh. Got a shield. Which looks like... This. Alright. I just realized I didn't show off any of my new shit either. I'll put on, put on the Medusa shield, why not? And the Terminus S to the Poisoned Executioner's Sword is fun. Uh, it does poison damage, of course. Look at that shit. Oh, I love it. It doesn't have any special attacks, but it's neat. I like it. It's, you know, kind of a magenta color, and that's the Medusa shield. Do that again here, too. Look at all these fucking imps. And of course, my sword. Be useful and kill something, would you? Kill something. Anything. Whatever. I mean, the sword will get better. I'll play you now. 34. I think around 50 it turns into something you can actually equip. Oh, right! Room full of lesser demons. And I do not remember if this room has the big guy. Yes, it does. Oh, 
that big guy drops a very nice sword. And I can kill him in four hits. So worth the trip, high potion. Right. If I leave these guys to their own devices long enough, they will fill the room with themselves. Whatever, you're gone. Mana prison? Save point. Because I'm neurotic, I will save. Uh, so we're coming up on Burger Week in Halifax. That's going to be interesting. Um, this is an event that local fooderies do, uh, Burger Week, where a bunch of the local restaurants uh, make specialty sandwiches. I want to say hamburgers, but uh, I had a discussion with my friends the other day about, you know, is this a hamburger? Yeah, okay. King of Donair over on Kung Fu Road. Um, they make Donairs, which is a classic, wonderful Halifax dish. Uh, they're going to be doing one that's a triangular wedge of garlic bread. Well, not garlic bread. Like garlic. Picture garlic fingers. It's like garlic fingers um, shaped like a slice of pizza. Shit, I dropped my thing. Uh, it's like a slice of pizza, except it's garlic fingers. And... Come on. Yeah. And between it, they are going to put... Wow, I walked right through that. They are going to put donair meat. Um, katana, alright, that's nice. Uh, they're going to put donair meat which is a type of spiced beef. Oh, crap. Crap. Um, yeah, so a type of spiced beef in between two pieces of garlic fingers. Um, I missed a secret room. Uh, but that shit's gonna be delicious. But... My friends do not think that it counts as a burger. I'm like, okay. In a purest sense, that's true. It's not on a bun. Um, but Burger Week really goes beyond just hamburgers and is more about um, just sandwiches in general. And then we got into the discussion of... Well, my friend Jen, she said, well, this, this is really turning into quickly the... Um, you know, it's a hot dog sandwich discussion. And I said yes. It's meat in a bun. The bun has been cut. In order to accept said meat. Um, come on. The meat has been cut in such a way, or the bun has been cut in such a way to accept said meat. Um... So I think it's a counts as a sandwich, in a, you know, strictly abstract sense. Maybe you might not consider it that way, but that's the way I see it. Oh my god, this room is just full of the most annoying enemies so far. Um, oh my god. The most annoying. Uh, but yeah, so there's discussion. Does this count as a ha as a hamburger? Maybe not. But I, Christ, I feel it's definitely a sandwich, if nothing else. And I stand by that. Um, we went to our favorite little uh, eatery over on Quinpool Road, the Ardmore, 
They have all day breakfast. It's wonderful. I got the bacon double cheeseburger and a lot to eat. And we asked them, are you guys doing anything for, uh, for Burger Week? The waitress told us yes. Since breakfast is kind of their jam, they are doing... Since breakfast is kind of their jam, they are doing a breakfast burger. Sort of. Sort of burger. It's, um, they're gonna do French toast as buns, from what I understand. And they are going to put sausage, a sausage round in, in, you know, between the buns. For the French toast slices, rather. Save point. Take a drink, he's saving. Um, yeah, French toast with sausage in between. I would be honestly shocked if it wasn't served with their hash browns, which are delicious. Yeah, I would be shocked if they weren't served with their hash browns. They put this this wonderful uh, spice on them. I don't know what it is. It's like... I, can't, I honestly can't even describe. It's good. It's great. I love it. It's got the right amount of salt taste to it without being like... But it's also kind of freaky. Yes, if you're ever in the area of Quinpool Road, though... Give it a shot. It's up past Oxford Street. Up past the old, sadly now dead Oxford Theater. And especially go there during Burger Week. Because, you know, that shit sounds delicious. I'm gonna go. It's like a 20 minute walk from my house. So I would be remiss if I missed that. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in the pool. Um, there's Roll the Dice. It's a, a gaming cafe. Um, yeah, they charge you for, for board games if you go in and play. Uh, but Or if you just go in and eat. But, um, you know, play a board game. They're fun. Uh, there's a boss in here. And he's a little terrifying. And I feel as though... I feel as though my... The poison and stone theme won't work so well against him. Let me rearrange this shit. Uh, what do I want to use against this guy? It's gotta be something big. 104. 111. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll go with the katana. Because why not? Doesn't have any. Oh, it does have a special attack. So, uh, horrifying zombie man. Now I'm poisoned. I gotta chop him up piece by piece. Wow, he didn't like that at all. And the smart thing to do would just be to stand down here and summon Tetra to spirit. So yeah, that was, uh, the horrifying boss, Beelzebub. 
Life Max up. Not even a thing of lead. Come on. Uh, they call him the Lord of the Flies uh, because he's covered in flies. Oh, the Ray of Arcana. Useful. Increases rare item appearance. Now, it will reduce all of my stats. But it increases how often I will see rare items. Hmm. Prove my luck by five. I'm going for it. All right. Um, yeah, now I don't need to worry about... Oops. Now I don't need to worry about landing hits. Uh, you know, one big hit at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back. Where's my shields at? Shields! Okay, they're below my throne weapons. Probably shouldn't be there. Whatever. Uh, da, da, da. The dark shield is actually stronger of a hit thing than, um, you know, a Medusa shield. Um, the Medusa shield does have a fun attack with the shield rod. It uh, shoots eye lasers. Uh, oh, I just completed the circle. Okay. That was the boss of that particular area. Uh, I should find a save point. I call it for this episode. Uh, save point? Save point! Right below me, of course. Yes, in the regular castle, that room's full of bloody zombies. And by full up, I mean there's, like, one at the bottom. Whatever. Yes, uh, thank you for watching. I have once again been your host, Joe, and see you next time.